Are you ready to get your questions answered? Hi, I'm Sheila. I'm a personal stylist and I help women find the best styles to suit their body shape, their coloring, and their personality so they can dress well with ease. For the best style tips, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll be notified every Tuesday when I upload a new video. Today I'm going to answer some questions that you've been asking me. Questions like, do these colors make me look old? Should I wear these shoes? Are they outdated? I have a large bust and a short waist and I'm petite. What can I wear? And should I wear this? So let's get started. My first question is, I've been told there are colors I shouldn't wear as I get older. How do I know what they are? Yes, there are some colors that look really good on you and there are some colors you should avoid. And as we get older, our skin color changes a little bit and it lightens and our hair color changes. So that means the colors we wear that look best on us also change. But our color temperature does not change. If your color temperature is cool, you have blue undertones. And if your color temperature is warm, you have golden undertones. If you're not sure what your color temperature is, you can download my free guide right here and that will help you determine your color temperature. When you hear people say, you're getting older now and maybe you shouldn't wear these colors, usually it's not a color they're referring to, but rather a neutral. And that neutral is usually black. So black has a way of draining color from your face. So if the color is already draining by your aging, you won't want to wear black near your face. You can still wear black, but keep it away from your face. Now this is a general rule. There are some people who can wear black as they get older, but mostly women can't wear black. And if you want to find out if you're one of those people who can't wear black, just put black next to your face, go in front of a mirror, and then put another color that you know looks good on you in front of your face. And if black isn't your best neutral, it will show up the dark circles and lines. There are also some neutrals that look better on us than others. So when you have a color analysis, you find out what those neutrals are as well as your colors. As you know, my hair color has changed in the last few months. And even though this is a wig, this is my natural color. So when it grows out, it's going to come out this color. So I'm going to show you how some of my colors have changed. These neutrals are still in my color palette, but don't flow quite as well as they did when my hair was darker. I can still wear them, but they aren't as dramatic. So a different color combination or a different neutral combination would be better. And there are some colors that don't change like this one. Actually, this is a color that looks great on most everyone. Most everyone can wear this color. So as you can see, this dark neutral looks a lot better with my lighter hair than it did with dark hair. So now let's go on to our next question. I have problems with my feet, but I don't want to look frumpy. There are only certain shoes I can wear. And I hear about how outdated shoes can make you look frumpy. But I keep wearing them because they're comfortable. What should I do? The first thing is to keep in mind that outdated sometimes just means that they aren't trending anymore. So they aren't a fashion trend anymore. Now, there are classic styles that always stay in style. So if you choose a shoe that's classic, you won't have to worry about it being outdated. But mostly, what's most important is that you buy shoes that are comfortable, that suit your feet, that you can wear. And when you do this, you won't have to worry about being in style or out of style. Usually the problem with shoes being outdated is when women buy the most up-to-date style that there is. Now, if you just want to, and most women do, they just want to look great. They don't really care about following fashion trends. If you want to look great, stick to classic styles and most importantly, a style that suits you. So a style that suits the clothing that you wear. So if you wear dresses, you'll want to find a, a shoe that suits the dresses you wear. Because mostly, if you wear dresses, you wear a certain type. So find a shoe that suits the dresses you wear. And if you're thinking, well, there aren't any shoes that I can wear that suit 
a dress? Well, then you'll have to go with the pants. And sometimes there are things that we just can't wear and we have to not wear, not wear them. But there are ways around everything. Even if you do want to wear a dress and there, you can't wear a little heel or anything, there are things, are ways to get around that. The most important thing is that you choose shoes that suit your overall outfit, that your outfit looks great together because shoes, the wrong shoes, can really throw off a look. So first you go for comfort and then you go for the overall look of your outfit. So don't get pulled into this might be outdated or that might be outdated. It could be shoes or it might be clothes. Think more in terms of classic, then you won't be outdated. Also, trendy items are usually the ones that become outdated. Let's move on to question number three. I'm petite and I have a large bust and a short waist. I would really love to wear belts, but they don't look good. Are there alternatives? Or is there a way that I can wear them? If you have a large bust and a short waist and you're petite as well, I would suggest that you stay away from belts. However, there are alternatives that can create the look of a longer waist and can also create the look of a waist because clothes can create illusions. That's a good thing about them. So no matter what your body shape, you can always create illusions with the clothes you wear. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about your body shape and clothes and how they go together, you can download my free guide right here, Dress to Suit Your Body Shape. Now this is just a general guide. It's meant for everyone, but it's generic. So we're all different. We have different proportions and you know everyone is shaped a little bit differently, but this will give you a general idea of the styles that'll look good on you. The first thing you can do is wear a print and a print with diagonal lines. Your eye will follow the line. So if you wear a line like this in a dress, this will create the look of a waistline. And if you get to know lines, you'll see how the eye is moved with the line and you'll be able to come up with probably some different lines that will create a slimmer looking waistline. And that's the reason why a belt will make your waist look larger and shorter because it's a horizontal line. The next thing you can do is to wear an empire style dress. And an empire style comes up higher, comes up under your bust line, so it creates the look of a longer waist. And your eye just travels all the way down from your bust line to maybe the end of your shirt or to the end of your dress. I would suggest a dress because it's longer and the eye has a chance to flow farther and you will look slimmer and your waist will look longer. You could also wear long necklaces. So if you're wearing a solid color and you think, ah, oh, this would look so good with a belt or a belt would make it look better, but I can't wear a belt, wear a long necklace instead. That will take the place of a belt, but it will create that long vertical line that will make you look like your waist is longer and your bust and waist don't come together or not as close. So that will make a difference. So now let's go to our next question. After watching your video, I went through my closet and I noticed that I have clothes that I've had a couple of years, some maybe longer. They might be older, but I really like them. Should I wear them or should I not wear them? Well, if you have clothes in your closet that you're wearing and that you really love, there's no reason why you should get rid of them. So what you want to look for or think about is, do they fit really well? And if they do, that's great. Is it in a style that suits your body shape? Great. Do you feel good when you wear it? Great. So, and if it's a classic style, it will be something that you can keep for longer. And you don't have to worry that you've had it a couple of years. If it still looks great, you love it, you can wear it, and you're not tired of it. Usually, what I find is that women uh, get tired of clothes. Clothes that they love to wear and they wear a lot, they get tired of it. So that might be a reason. If you're just tired of it, well, yes, get rid of it. But if you love to wear it, keep wearing it. Generally, when clothes are outdated, it's because they were at one time a trend, and now they 
aren't trending anymore sort of outdated and they really show up because you remember, remember them as a trend. An example of this would be the cold shoulder top. If you're wearing that now, it's outdated and it will make you look outdated. Anything that's classic, you can keep longer and it won't be outdated. So those are all the questions I have for today. If you have a question, you can email me with your question. And when I do this again, I will answer your question. So thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and keep on styling.